Let's create some objects. If this is the first time that you've used the program, it might be harder than it looks. But after a little practice, it will become second nature. I've already made some spheres in previous videos, and it's one of the easiest objects that you can make. Just drag out a sphere and release the left mouse button, and you're done. So I've done a couple of things when I created that. Wherever I started dragging is where the center of the sphere was placed. And when I stopped dragging, I set the radius parameter. Remember, you don't have to be accurate when you're creating objects. You can go over here in the parameters rollout and make adjustments, but only immediately after you create the object. If you do anything else, like right clicking, for example, those rollouts disappear. You then have to go to the Modify panel to access the parameters rollout, and you'll always be able to modify it. Okay, so let's go back to the Create tab and make a box. It's slightly more complicated. Drag out the box, and you'll be setting its width and length. Release the mouse button, and you're not done. There's still the height to set. Just move the mouse up or down, and click to set the height. Notice that I didn't drag on that second click. I just clicked and released the mouse immediately. The cylinder is made in much the same way. You drag out the radius, release the mouse, move it up or down, and click. The cone adds another step to that. Drag out the base, release the mouse, go up or down, click and release the button, and you're setting yet another parameter. In this case, it's radius 2. I'll click again and it's done. The geosphere is just like the sphere in how you create it, but its inner structure is different, and we'll get to that later on. The tube is created a lot like a cylinder, but it has an extra step where you have to set the inner radius. Notice if I drag that out, it becomes the outer diameter. Click, move the mouse, and click again. The torus is kind of like the tube. You have to set two radii, and you're done. The pyramid is somewhat like a box. You drag out the width and depth, and then click to set the height. A plane is like the beginning of a box. You just drag it out. And finally, the teapot is sort of the mascot of computer graphics. But the teapot turns out to be a useful object for making test renders because it has a lot of curvature and complex surfaces. I'll drag out a teapot right over here.